What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and vice pants. What's up, everybody? I got I got the sun right in my face here. <laughs> Can't. I don't know what to do about it. it doesn't work. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Alex's Toy Show. This is Fan Mail Friday for uh, what's today? Whatever the hell today is. Um, a little different than fan mail in the past. It's just like a recap for the week and hey, how you been and stuff. First, I have to say thanks for everyone who has been watching the show uh, up until a couple of weeks ago. And then, of course, my couple of episodes here and there where I've made an episode of this and I made an episode of that. And I haven't really been sticking to the schedule. Why I said in a fan mail a while back that, uh, you know, that I needed to take a step back. Things, you know, I had about a half a week stuff planned and it came out and then after that it would be very sparingly where the videos are concerned and they have been i've been take i've took my step back and you know getting some things done that i need to get done and things are good so you know i make a video where i can um uh I, i'm a little short on time because i gotta go pick up feisty pants after school but i want to talk about a couple of things uh, first, um, how about the Cy Young voting? Now, Major League Baseball, they give awards at the end of the year for, um, different positions. Uh, for all your def defensive players that are best at their positions, they give what's called the Gold Glove Award. Um, your, your most valuable player gets the MVP award for the entire league. Uh, both the American League and then a separate one for the National League. The best rookies in the year get the Rookie of the Year Award. The best pitchers in the year get the Cy Young Award. Now, I figured as far as Max Scherzer goes in the National League, he was lights out pretty much at all times. There, I, di I didn't think, I mean, Jake Arrieta was really good. There was a bunch, a lot of other couple of players who were all really good in the National League. But, but Scherzer was lights out. However... However, Ricky Porcello on the uh, Porcello on the Tigers, I did not think on the Tigers. Um, I did not think he was worthy. Uh, but I mean, hey, you know, whatever. That's who he got voted. Same with Rookie of the Year. I figured uh, Corey Seager of the Dodgers was going to be Rookie of the Year for the National League. However, American League was kind of a toss-up. You know, you had uh, Gary Sanchez come up on the Yankee system and he turned the club around he put them back in the in the postseason race now they didn't make it of course but they they were nowhere when he joined the team in uh in the in August after the trade deadline and then come the end of September the end of the season there it's like oh my god the Yankees might make it <laughs> because of all the offense that carries now that to me says that's a rookie that did his job well Okay, he carried the team. Who gets it? Michael Fulmer. He was 11 and 7 on the Tigers, and the Tigers didn't make the postseason. I now granted, didn't neither did the Yankees. However, I just I don't understand what Michael Fulmer did in order to win the Rookie of the Year, besides not being a Yankee and playing a full season. I think it was a little, you know, a little bit bad call. Bad call. Bad call. It was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. Um, so, yeah, so there's that. Um, MVPs, I think, are getting voted Thursday, which was yesterday while I'm making this film. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to be reporting on that. Maybe I'll make a separate film later Thursday night after I see the winnings. Uh, manager of the year was pretty cool. I mean, I don't see how the Cubs manager doesn't get manager of the year. I mean, he won He won the friggin' World Series, man. <laughs> Joe Madden is a friggin' hero. Not only to people of Chicago, but to people of baseball, but to, you know, to a lot of people. How does he not win manager of the year? SMH. SMFNH. Okay, who saw Total Divas? Um, I didn't even realize that the, the next season was starting. My DVR just picked it up. I was like, oh, all right. Got something else to watch. Were you shocked when Lon... I mean, okay. I knew Lana's accent was fake. But I guess just the overwhelming amount of, you know, the uh, the overwhelming amount that she talked in her regular voice was just like, oh my God, listen to her regular voice. I like her regular voice. I wish she would drop this accent and talk regular. And, um, 
you know, I think it would be better. But I, I understand there's a character to portray and blah, 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 whatever. Um, I also didn't know there was such a falling out between Maurice and the Bellas years and years ago. I mean, I know Maurice got fired for whatever reason. You know, I know there was a, you know, there was a different... Um, a different path WWE took. I know the Bellas left for a while and then came back. More than that, as a fan, that's that's all I know. Now, what happened behind the camera, or behind the uh, behind the camera, behind the scenes? That's between the Bellas and Maurice. And I kind of have to feel that, you know, with the way I know about with what I know about Maurice and what I know about the Bellas, I have to feel that the Bellas are telling more of the truth than what the um, than what Maurice is now. Um, I feel I feel that's going to come out a little bit more. I feel that wouldn't be in the first episode if they weren't planning to do something with it. Uh, so I feel we're, that's not the last we've heard of that story. Um, I also have to say that there are two sides to the truth. There's really like three sides. There's what actually happened, and then there's the two parties or multiple parties. You know, if it's more more than one party, it's their interpretation of it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Maybe, maybe the Bellas are right. Maybe Maurice is right. Maybe there's just, you know, something that they're not seeing. Whatever. We'll see. Um, Survivor Series this weekend. Oh, who's excited? Now, I have a whole set of Survivor Series picks uh, coming up Saturday. You know, Saturday was my pay-per-view picks day, so that's still going to fly. I'll probably do something after Survivor Series is over about the winners and losers and, and reactions. Although, seeing The Undertaker come out and give his vote of confidence to Team SmackDown uh, Tuesday night was pretty awesome. I have to say that. That was really cool. Um, but, oh, but, oh, The Miz winning the title back going into Survivor Series? I did not see that coming. Hats off to you, Survivor Series. Hats off to you. Uh, Team SmackDown, whatever. Not Survivor Series, WWE. Uh, and before I, before I move on, because I'm short on time, like I said, uh, Pokemon Go! They, uh, they did the Halloween event. They did the daily bonus. I'm on day four or five or whatever the hell it is of uh, whatever week the second week is. But I'm here and there's a new update coming out Monday. <laughs> Can't wait. I got a little something about it. I've been reading, trying to find something about it, reading something about it so I can tell you guys what's going on. But um, I haven't really, really seen too much yet. Uh, but if there is something you guys need a little help with that a video of me making would help, you know, like maybe... Uh, experience trick or how to catch something or how to figure out the you know the nearby window you know let me know and I'll, I'll see if I can do a quick video about it uh that is all I have for now I gotta get to uh where I gotta get to stand by for more greatness because we have a little something open for feisty pants and this portion of fan mail is brought to you by Paul Willis the letters P and W we're gonna need a little something I have a hunch what it is, and I think you're going to be extremely excited. Wink, wink. I didn't buy you something, but but Paul told me what he was getting you, and something Pokemon. It could be something Pokemon. It's like a package. I don't really know what the heck is going on here. Uh -huh. It's like a package within a package. So he got me one of those. Nice. Look at this craziness. <laughs> Mega Charizard X. Look at this. Oh, I almost dropped it. That's crazy. You see it? There you go. Is that insane? Here you go. You want to open this up? You say thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. All right. If you um, if you guys have something to send to fan mail. It doesn't have to be an action figure. It doesn't have to be something of that. It could just be a letter. Say, hey, what's up, Alex and Feisty Pants? And I'll be like, hey, I read it on camera. Uh, this is where you want to send it to. Alex's Toy Show, P.O. Box 13, Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. Like this video, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more. We're going to go eat some Panera bread, right? Yeah. We're actually going to have more than just bread. It's just Panera bread is the name of the store, and they sell other types of food.